premium version of Adobe Express is totally free of charge for K-12 schools all over the world. Let me say that again. The premium version of Adobe Express is totally free of charge for all schools, all K-12 schools globally. There's no cost to get the full version of Adobe Express. All it requires is that the IT admin people at the school use the admin console, the Adobe admin console, which they're probably familiar with anyway, because they use that to distribute their Photoshop licenses and their InDesign and their Premiere Pro and all the professional tools that Adobe is so well known for. And what they can do, if they've got that admin console, which by the way is free as well, so if they haven't got it, they can just get it, download it. Then they can issue every teacher and every student with access to Adobe Express, totally for free, no extra licensing required. So that's a, that's a huge bonus. As we mentioned earlier, Gen AI is modeled on Adobe stock. And when you log in with the K-12 version, you're actually logging into a filtered version of Adobe stock. Because Adobe stock does have material in there that you don't necessarily want K-12 students accessing. Because it's a professional repository of millions and millions of professional images. So we've filtered out the ones that are considered maybe inappropriate for K-12. So you've got all those filters in place. Plus you've got your own school filters as well. So there's like two layers of security. And it's part of the Safer Technologies for Schools program. If you're not familiar with that, if you go to ST4S, that's the, the, uh, the URL for their website, they've got a database of software. If you do a search for Adobe, we're in there. If you do a search for other applications that you're using, it's worth checking whether they are registered with the Safer Technologies for Schools program. It's a program that's been established by all the ministers of education from every state and from New Zealand as well. And we're in the process now of being re-accredited for the next two years. And it's quite a process. I'm telling you, they're, they're ruthless in terms of making sure that schools are kept safe with the software.